of Travel Vans. Today we're going to have a look at the 2016 Serenity. The Serenity is the flagship of the Leisure Travel Van family. It was the very first motorhome we built on the Mercedes-Benz cutaway chassis. We just pulled over on the side of the road here, a little river here. What a great little campground site. We're up in the uh, La Riviere area of Manitoba. And look at that beautiful motorhome. Now that is a motorhome, the 2016 Serenity. Okay, we're gonna have a look at the chassis that drives this beautiful Serenity motorhome down the highway. Of course, Mercedes-Benz 3500 series Sprinter cutaway chassis. Now this is one great little chassis. V6 motor, three liter, 188 horsepower, 325 foot-pounds of torque. Great fuel economy and can whip you down the highway and it's pretty much pin quiet while you're driving. It's environmentally friendly, blue tech diesel. And of course we've got our air filter, we've got our oil fill, we've got our DEF, easy access into the chassis. It's just a great chassis, easy to drive, fun to drive. One of the features that Leisure Travel Vans puts on all of our cutaway chassis, we order it right from Mercedes these bands because we think safety is important of course are the by Xeon headlights so that comes on all the leisure travel van cutaway chassis and of course we've also ordered the headlamp washing system so you can see we have the Mercedes-Benz chrome front grille, which is great. We've also got a step here for cleaning your windshield, and that's a great little convenience feature to have on all of the Sprinter chassis. And if you have a look way up at the top there, you can see how we've integrated our front mask into our chassis. Look how beautiful that is. Very aerodynamic. When you're driving down the highway, all you can see is out. Nice panoramic view, and of course, LED lights up at the top. Now that is one gorgeous looking motorhome. Okay, here we are down by the tire size. We run 16 inch tires on all the cutaway chassis. And of course, this one has the optional Alcoa aluminum rims. And we put six aluminum ribs. So on the dualies, two at the back on each side. And of course, up front. As we work our way down, we have heated power mirrors. And here's important, if you get into a tight position, you can just lock them up, close them up. Nice to have. Of course, we have our fiberglass step that's integrated into the body. This is a great little touch. Look at this. Courtesy light when I'm getting in and out of the coach. Perfect. And of course, we've got our diesel fill. So as you can see here, I can lock my diesel fill. Nobody can tamper with my diesel fill. Of course, if we have a look inside the chassis here, I just want to show you this, the Mercedes-Benz swivels. Look how easy that is to swivel the seat around. That is perfect. And have a look underneath the mat here. We've got our chassis batteries, easy access to those. And look at this beautiful little carpet. We put that throughout the cab area. We rub rubber backing on the back, so it's not going to slide around. And also on the chassis, you've got lots of little hidden areas for storage. Cup holder here, cup holder up here, and some more storage underneath here. Great little storage area in the uh, chassis area. As we work around our chassis, of course, we've got our shore power connection. That's a 30 amp shore power, easy to connect. And of course, let's look at some storage here. Here we got storage here for a toolbox. And this is where we also keep our 30 amp shore power electrical cord. Brand new for 2016, we got our 1200 watt inverters. You can see easy access right here. So that'll give you a little dry camping power to watch uh, TV, movies. And over on this side, we've got our optional generator. By Onan, we can go with a 3.6 kilowatt propane generator or a 3.2 kilowatt diesel generator, your choice. People always ask, which one should I have? It all depends on how you're gonna go RVing. If you're dry camping like I am right now, or you're dry camping for long periods of time, a diesel generator is a good option to have. Or if you're in very hot climates, you're gonna run the air conditioning a lot. A diesel generator is very economical to use. Propane generator is great if you're traveling all over the place and you're going different places all the time because propane is easily filled up. Okay, here we also have our gas and electric hot water tank, six gallons, so you can run it gas. So if you're paying for your campground service, turn it electrically on. If you're dry camping, you can run it on gas. So a great little feature there to have, six gallons of electric or gas hot water. Over on this side here, you can see we've got our RV house batteries. We have two deep cycle six volt batteries. You can see how easy they slide in and out on the tray. And one of the other things, if you ever get a chance to see a Serenity in person, you got to feel these doors. These are all aluminum doors. They are beautiful. See how they curve and contour into the body? That is a beautiful door. 
As you can see here, we're at the rear dual wheel, so all the Sprinter cutaway chassis that we order have dual rear wheels. It gives you a much smoother ride. And you can see we have the Alcoa aluminum wheels here. Another great feature on the Alcoa aluminum wheels is you have inside and outside fill for your uh, inside tire and your outside tire. So nice little feature there. No stone damage coming up through. We also spray foam all the tanks underneath so they don't get any stone damage. That's very important to have. And with all that spray foam insulation underneath there, I don't have to worry about that damaging my unit. Okay, look at this. Once again, oh, I love these aluminum doors. Oh, they are nice. Here's our outside service center. Look at this, everything you could want. Just like a big class A motorhome that we have in a 25 foot motorhome. Exterior shower, hot and cold running water, nice to have. Of course, our city water fill. We've got our remote propane fill, easy to do. We've got our on off switch for our propane. I can turn off my propane tank just like that. Exterior light when I'm hooking up at night, that's a great little feature. Of course, we got our gray and black water tanks. Always dump the black first, then the gray. This particular unit has an optional macerator, so I can actually dump uphill if I had to. I can also dump into a small line at home if I have one. I don't have to go to a three inch dump station. That's a nice little option to have. And it's just simply pressing the button and turning on, opening your black and gray water valves. Man, the Serenity is one gorgeous looking motorhome. Look at this beautiful rear mask, all fiberglass, fully insulated, I love it. Integrated backup camera, LED lights at the top. And look at this storage, yes, why not? So you can put some golf clubs in there or lawn chairs or whatever you want. Look at this, full water filtration. I love it, it looks fabulous. And let's look down here, look at this. 5,000 pound receiver, seven pin connector, so you can tow up to 5,000 pounds. So if you need to tow a small vehicle or a boat or jet skis or kayaks or a little utility trailer, why not hook it up and tow it down the road? It'll tow like a dream. Separate fiberglass rear bumper. Ooh, very smooth. So many things to talk about in this beautiful motorhome. Just over eight feet wide, 24 feet, seven inches long, just under 10 foot, four inches in height. I mean, this is a beautiful motorhome, but let's talk about this body construction. Full fiberglass wall construction. And you can see how beautiful these lines are because it comes out of a mold, you can contour it. So it's built like a boat or a Corvette, same type of design, same thought process. What a beautiful motorhome. Curved glass, it's awning style, opens up, tinted, oh, beautiful. And how about this, a little more storage on this side, underneath the optional sofa, beautiful storage area. And then down below, you need some more storage, why not? What's the point in having a motorhome if you don't have any storage? Well, this has got storage, once again, aluminum doors. Look how big this storage bin is, it goes deep in here, all the way over to here, this is all galvanized sheet metal, it'll never rust. Vents for our three-way fridge, so gas, electric, and 12 volt. We need some more storage. Sure, more storage. Great storage area on the outside right here. On the exterior, was we run with five coats of paint, and we use three different colors of paint, and you can see how smooth the paint lines are, and we have two different exterior colors, silver and white suede. We also have a great LED exterior light, plus for 2016, we've put the lights into the awning, how smart is that? So now I've got a couple different sets of lights. So even if you don't have your awning out, you can still have some lights. And look at this door. This is probably the nicest RV door built today. Full fiberglass. It's curved. Can you see that? And look at the hinge system. Four big hinges. And look at this. A hidden screen. So you can leave the door open and have the screen for lots of fresh air and no bugs going into the motorhome. So we have great pot lights on both doors, driver and passenger, storage again. And if you're a big Slurpee drinker, look, a full-size Slurpee cup could fit into the drink holder in the door. Of course, inside the uh, passenger door, we've got our switch for our awning and of course, press of the button and look at this, power awning comes out. Hmm. 
Man, I got a great camping spot. I can either tent peg my uh, legs down or I can lock them into the motorhome. Today's a pretty calm day, so I could probably just tent peg it down. But if it was a little bit of a breeze, I can lock it in place. At nighttime, always bring your awning in. Or if it's very breezy out, you should always leave your awning in. But this is a great camp area. This awning is over seven feet wide, so I got lots of coverage and over 12 feet long. Brand new for 2016, optional 100 watt solar flex panel. You can see how it seals flat. All the screw heads are completely sealed. There is no exposed screw heads anywhere on the roof. Very, very nice. I'm gonna stay in this campground all week. I'm not going back to work. And one word to describe this interior would be spectacular. Look at this, the glamour package with the matte finished doors, chrome locks, accent lighting, white Corian countertops, and of course, lovely fog leather with French stitching. I love the accent lighting. And have a look at this beautiful upper cabinets. Of course, the matte finish, easy to clean, doesn't stain. And look at this, the curved door with the soft close locks. How sweet is that? What's great about the Serenity is you've got two separate living areas with the optional rear sofa at the back. As you can see up front, I've got a beautiful dining room area for four. Plus, if you look back here with the optional rear electric sofa, second living area inside a 24 foot, six inch motorhome. Now that's very, very impressive. Plus look at this, six foot three interior height. The standard on the Serenity is a corner bed full time, or you can have the optional power electric sofa. And as you can see here, we've got a great living area, probably have two or three people back here. You can watch TV. You can actually turn the TV and face it forward for watching TV up front. Of course, you've got reading lights back here for reading and you've got great upper cabinet storage, Italian design, a matte finish, so it's gonna look great forever. And it's easy to clean, you can't stain it, you can't damage it, it's heat resistant. I love the curved cabinets, they open up. And for 2016, we've gone to a soft close, so you can see how nicely they close, European hinges. And you can see the locks lock right in place and a nice big rear cabinet at the back here. So you've got great storage in the back. If you like to read, look at this, reading lights built right in and very comfortable to sit and relax. If you love to read or watch TV. This particular coach has got our espresso wood with our glamour package. For 2016, you can get the glamour package with the matte finished doors on the cherry the maple and on the espresso wood you also get the accent lighting and it looks just great plus look at this led lights underneath very very nice and of course we've got our mcd shades so we have daytime and privacy plus all the curved glass on the outside opens up for fresh air french stitching memory foam plus it makes into a bed let me show you how easy that is just press a button so that's how easy it is to make into a bed area. And look at this, a great size, 54 inches wide, 78 inches long. I've got lots of room, I'm a big guy. Very comfortable, all done in memory foam. Very great use of space. Living room area, bedroom area, entertainment area, three in one. A lot of manufacturers that build small motorhomes don't like to talk about the bathroom, but let's talk about this bathroom because this is a pretty big bathroom. I've got a three-piece dry bath, which means I don't have to sit on the toilet to shower. Hey, look at this, I can stand in the shower to shower. Built-in LED light. We've got a beautiful little shower door, chrome shower. Love it, it looks great. Handle, look at this, nice little safety feature for getting in and out. If it's slippery and wet, you can use the handle inside the shower. We've got a mirror, We've got a little medicine cabinet up top. How about this, a china toilet? Yes, Corian countertop, stainless steel sink. Look at this beautiful chrome faucet. Look at this, more storage underneath. Very, very nice. Now this is a bathroom, plus shelving behind the curved sliding door. This is a great little feature. I love how this TV can swivel and I can watch it from the front or I can stay back here and watch TV. And if somebody wants to be entertaining up front or at nighttime, Got a beautiful little accordion door for some privacy. Okay, let's have a look way up on the roof here. Of course, we've got our marine gray touch vinyl. Beautiful, easy to clean. It's sound deadening product. Of course, it's also insulated up in the roof. We've gotten a silent air, 
We've got a 15,000 BTU air conditioner with a heat pump built in. We've got air conditioning ducts that run all the way through the motorhome from front to back. So you're going to have cold air on a hot day or turn on the heat pump. You can run some heat as well. And of course, we've gone with a four speaker system, two in the back and two in the front. LED lights. I mean, this is a beautiful looking roof line. It looks clean and it's very, very functional. Another great feature of the two piece power sofa bed is I can use this as a footrest as well. Now that's smart. Here's a great use of space. We've got our service center right here. So this is my command center. Where I know what's going on in the motorhome. Optional stabilizer jacks, nice little option, stabilizes the coach. We've got our sofa bed controls right here. Over here, we've got our control center for our battery, fresh water, gray water, black. We run sensors on the outside of the tanks, so we know exactly what's going on with the tanks. As you can see, we're empty fresh, empty gray, empty black, empty propane. We've also got our six gallon gas electric hot water tank. That's very important. You wanna turn it on propane when you're dry camping or if you're going down the road or you wanna run it electrically if you're paying for your campground service and you're plugged into power. So nice little feature there. Plus optional generator. We've got a 3.2 kilowatt diesel generator or a 3.6 kilowatt propane generator. Your choice depends on how you RV. If you're a big dry camper, a lot of people go diesel. If you're just an average person like myself who likes to travel and see the world, propane generator is gonna work great. It's got an hour meter on it. Plus for 2016, we've got a brand new 1200 watt inverter, which is great if you're a dry camper and you like to watch TV or movies or charge something off the house batteries, turn that over to invert and it will. Plus we've got a brand new option for 2016 as well. And that's a solar flex panel. They lay flat on the roof. So they're very quiet when you're going down the road, no wind resistance. And here's our control center for the solar panel. Another nice feature on our wardrobe closet, of course, we've got an inside mirror for dressing and look at the storage. You can see the light automatically comes on and look at that huge hanging closet. Plus down below, look at this beautiful big storage area, solid wood. I love the wood. This is the espresso wood. Oh, look at that. Full drawer extension glides, great storage. Perfect. Okay, let's have a look at the galley area. Now, this is a great galley area. As a matter of fact, I think Ramsey might be calling me to go on Hell's Kitchen and I can prepare food off of the Serenity galley. Look at this, two burner stove, spark ignition. We've got a beautiful little spice rack. Look at this, big, deep stainless steel sink. And look at this Corian, is this not beautiful? This is DuPont Corian, and this is called the Private Collection. And this comes with our Glamour package, the white Corian. Ooh, it looks good. Look at this brand new chrome faucet. How sweet is that? And of course, we've got a little garbage can area here. You can also use it as a, fill it full of ice and use it as a cooler. Multiple applications right there. And look above here, we've got more cabinets. Look at this, shelves inside. And look how deep it is. People always say, Dean, how deep is that cabinet? Well, let me tell you, it's pretty darn deep. We got a tape measure right here, look at this. It is 14 inches deep. Remember, if a plate can't fit in a cabinet, what good's the cabinet? And look at this, soft close hinges. That is perfect. And of course, this is a great product because sometimes your hands are dirty. Put it on the, onto the doors. This easily cleans. You're gonna love this product. It's gonna look great for years and years to come. Hey, let's have a look down underneath here. We have some more storage area for our drawers. Look at this once again, full drawer extension glides. Solid wood, they're lined. That's a nice little feature. We've got full water filtration in all the serenities. And of course, look at this little cutlery drawer. And I love this, this is beautiful. Look at this, reverse curve door. This one's curved, reverse curve. Storage underneath. And have a look at this, of course, a pull out pot and pan drawer. How smart is that? We're on the other side of the galley area. And of course, look at this, a little more storage underneath for things that you don't access all the time, perhaps heavy cooking oils, things like that. And look at this, look at this, a beautiful pull out pantry. Oh, I love pull out pantries. And of course, look at this big fridge, 6.7 cubic feet, two door fridge. So a separate freezer fridge and it's a three way fridge. So it does propane. It does 12 volt when you're driving and it also does 110 power. Now that is a smart fridge. And of course our convection microwave. This is a 1500 watt convection microwave, 1000 standard. And here's a good little trick. Remember I always say, take a plate with you. We'll use the microwave plate. 
Hello. And once again, of course, as I mentioned, this is a convection microwave, so you can bake with it, you can cook with it, and of course, you can microwave with it. Very, very versatile. Okay, on the other side of the refrigerator, look at this. Nice big hanging closet. So when you come in, you can hang your jackets up. And this is really smart. Most people would leave their shoes here or here, which is a license to step on them and fall out the door. But look at this, we got a little place for your shoes. Smart. Underneath the dinette, look at this, we've got another drawer here. You can actually use it for the galley area or for whatever you want, but nice little sliding compartment. Hey, let's have a look at this great dining room area or living room area or entertainment area. You can play cards. Look how the table slides over. I have easy access in and out to the front into the back of the motorhome. The table turns and swivels. It'll go in any position you need it to. It also makes it into a bed. Talk about versatility. This small motorhome can sleep up to four people. And as you can see here, we can have dinner for, for sure four, probably five people. The Serenity has four seat belts in it and plus, all done in ultra leather and look at this all done with memory foam that's very important i hope you can see that this memory foam is very comfortable because this is also going to be a bed area so when you're laying down on it you're going to get a good night's sleep i'm going to show you how easy it is to make into a bed just like that how great is this to have a second bed in the serenity 48 inches wide 76 inches long great for friends family kids or perhaps some unwanted guests from a dining room area into a bed area back into a dining room area very versatile. Let's have a look at the cabinets up above. On the driver's side, great little cabinet. They're also lined up top, which is very nice. Up top, above the driver passenger seats, we got three little cabinet areas. We also have a new option for 2016, and this is where the safe would go. It's nine inches by nine inches by five inches in height. And then of course, we've got our brand new AM FM Jensen stereo system. It's a CD player, DVD player, Bluetooth. Great little feature to have. And of course, we've got our soft close hinges on all the units and of course they lock in place and over here on the passenger side great little cubby storage area here and another cabinet up top okay we have a look up top on the roof again once again you can see the air conditioning ducts throughout from front to back so way up at the front when you're having dinner you're going to have air conditioning cooling you or you can use the heat pump and that's very easy to use got our front speakers and then of course look at this a beautiful opening skylight i love this lots of fresh air lots of sunlight if you're in a mosquito area, you have lots of bugs, look at this, I can still have it open, I can still have a screen. Or on a super hot day, and it's really sunny, sun's coming in through the skylight, you know what, just put the shade across. That is smart. And in the galley area, of course, we've got a fantastic fan. This is a rain sensor fan, and that's standard on all the serenities. Automatically goes up, automatically comes on. If it starts to rain, it'll automatically close. So that's very, very smart. Okay, here's your thermostat for your uh, Serenity. And of course, just like our home residential one. So you would be able to put it on cool for your air conditioner. Once again, 15,000 BTU air conditioner. You can put it on your furnace, 16,000 BTU furnace. And we also have a heat pump, so you can put it over to heat pump. So you'd control it just like you would at home. Set it to whatever you want, set the temperature, and pretty much forget it. Okay, another great feature, of course, in the galley area and partial living room area. Of course, we've got our MCD shades, daytime, and of course, nighttime for privacy. We've got three different colors. This is solid wood valances, and this is in our Mirage fabric. We have three different colors, so we also have reflections and illusions. You can see that it's an awning style window. It opens up and it's got a screen, so you can have nice fresh air coming in. You don't have to worry about the bugs either. I love this hidden screen door. That's a great feature to have, leaving the door open, having the screen closed. Lots of fresh air, no bugs. And this is your lights for your outside. This will tell me that all my lights are on right now. And you're gonna like this new feature, brand new handle. And look at this, we've got a light switch built into it. That is very nice. This is my step lock. So right now I'm, I'm camping. I wanna leave my step lock. So when I close the door, the step doesn't go up and down. And then of course, I've got my accent lighting. Oh, that looks very nice throughout the coach. Now that comes with the Glamour package and you can get three different colors with the Glamour package. Cherry, maple, espresso, beautiful. And then of course, we've got our dimmer switch for our LED lights. People always ask me what this is for. This is a door lock for the curved outside door. It locks in place and now I can have my screen locked and the wind's not gonna blow my door all over the place. And of course we got our fire extinguisher and our battery disconnects for our house battery. See that? We're dry camping right now. I can turn off all the power inside the coach. On the passenger side, we've got our 16,000 BTU furnace. On the driver's side, we've got our electrical. 
all right here. So that's your, your box like you'd have at home with all your fuses and your breakers. And how great is this? A new Triple E exclusive on our flooring. This is a tile look floor. It just looks fabulous. I want to show you how easy it is to get in and out of the motorhome on the Mercedes-Benz chassis. Look at this. Easily in and out. It's almost a flush floor walking front to back, so you don't have to worry about stumbling. And of course, look at this, the Mercedes-Benz swivels. These are the best swivels in the industry. Look how easy they are to turn forward, back. They also become part of the motorhome. And of course, all done in ultra leather. Three different colors of ultra leather. Clay, this is fog. We also have tan, French stitching, super comfortable to sit in. We put rubber back in all of our carpet from moving front to back. Here we are back in the cab area of the Mercedes-Benz chassis. 325 foot-pounds of torque. It's got 188 horsepower, V6, three liter, turbo, clean running diesel, pin quiet. So we ordered some great safety features on all of our Mercedes-Benz chassis, on all of our Leisure Travel Van products. Number one, by Xeon headlights. Now that is a great feature. If you drive at night, these lights will let you see where you're going. We also have the lamp washers built right into the lights, so they'll wash your headlights when you're driving. We've also got the smart steering control wheel so that I can control my radio, my phone. I can tell exactly what's going on in my chassis. I can actually switch this over from Cologne kilometers to miles per hour. So if uh, American customers are in Canada or Canadian customers are in the US, you can switch it over and the LED readout will show you kilometers or miles. That is a great little feature. Of course, it's got telescopic steering. We've got power windows. We've got heated power mirrors, cruise control. We've got air conditioning five-speed transmission. This will pull up to 5,000 pounds. And of course, great drink holders, one here, one over there. We've got another one here and two more in the uh, door areas. Another great safety feature is we use the Mercedes-Benz stereo system and it's got uh, Bluetooth, streaming Bluetooth. It has a great GPS navigation system, backup camera. It also up front here has got a USB plug and it's also got a extra jack for plugging in iPods. And of course, a 12 volt connection down low. Pop this open, another 12 volt plug you can use. And we've got a little place here for holding paper while you're going down the road. If you wanna keep track of your mileage, you can lock it right in place. Chassis air conditioning is great. And in the glove box down below, and this is your Becker GPS map. When you get the unit, you plug this in right here and you're live and good to go. Okay, some other great little features. We've got convenience map lights or reading lights up top. And look at the storage area here, here. We've also got a courtesy mirror on the passenger side. And then underneath the passenger's feet, you can see there we've got a little toolbox in there. That's a nice little safety feature. Big drink cup holder that'll hold a Slurpee cup and storage here and then plus more storage down here. On the driver's side, once again, storage down below, another drink holder, more storage here. Underneath the driver's seat, this is our fuse control for our chassis. So all your chassis fuses are right there easy to access and people always ask me where is the chassis batteries they're underneath here look at the view i've got panoramic view i don't have a big tunnel i can see right down and look how beautiful this is the line of trees thank you very much for watching the 2016 serenity this is one unbelievable motorhome full fiberglass body construction it is absolutely beauty and you've got the freedom to explore all of north america this unit's only 24 feet, seven inches long, eight foot, one inch wide, 10 feet, four inches in height. It can go anywhere from Florida to Alaska, from the East Coast to the West Coast. See your nearest Leisure Travel Van dealer and go get yourself one and go and enjoy your life. Dean from Leisure Travel Vans.